Let's say we needed to find the derivative of a function like f of x equals 2. Let's think about this graphically for a moment. So if you were to graph f of x equals 2, you know that it's a horizontal line through 2 on the y-axis. And if you think about what a derivative is, it's related to the slope of the line tangent to the curve. If we were to sketch in a line tangent to the curve anywhere on this, I'll happen to do it here, you would get a horizontal line. And the slope of this line would be zero. So the slope of this horizontal line is 0, and f prime of x, in this case, would be 0 as well. If we're just thinking about the relationship between a function and its derivative and the slope at some point. We're going to prove why this must be true using the definition of a derivative. So let's just say that we've got some function. Let me use a different color here. Let's use some function like y, and it's equal to c. And what we'd like to do is take the derivative of y. And when we're done taking the derivative of y, what we'll have is the derivative of y with respect to x it's going to be equal to something. Now, at this point, what we know is that the derivative, by definition, is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And in this case, our function happens to be the constant c. So when we substitute in x plus h into our constant, by our limit definition, we'll be left with the limit as h approaches 0 of c minus c all over h. And what's interesting about this is that c minus c is 0, and 0 divided by anything is 0. So this is going to simplify down to the limit as h divide goes to 0 of just 0. And now when we take the limit of this, we're left with 0. So we've just proven that the derivative dy dx of any constant is equal to zero. So this would be your first technique of differentiation, that if you have to take the derivative of any constant, it must be zero. And this is also directly related to the idea of slope, that if you were to graph a constant, right, that will always be a horizontal line, and the slope of a horizontal line is zero.